Today, concussions, also known as mild traumatic brain injuries or TBIs, are recognized as a major health issue. In 2014, due to the growing focus and concern among clinicians, researchers, sports organizations, and student athletes, the National Collegiate Athletic Association, or NCAA, and the U.S. Department of Defense, or DOD, established the Concussion Assessment Research and Education, or CARE Consortium, to study the natural history of clinical and neurobiological recovery after concussion in an effort to improve injury prevention, safety, and medical care for student athletes and military personnel. All varsity athletes at civilian institutions and varsity athletes and cadets at the military service academies were eligible to participate. To date, approximately 55,000 participants have joined the study through one of the 30 test sites that were established across the country. What we're starting to understand with concussion is it's not just the biology of the injury, so like the physical injury itself, um, which certainly is an important part um, and it's a, a primary factor. Um, but it's also uh, the psychology of the athlete. So, um, you know, is that athlete resilient? Um, are they a high somaticizer, meaning do they think about their symptoms a lot and kind of dwell on them? Um, as well as what's the sociology? So what's the culture of their sport? What's their uh, culture that they come from? Where did they grow up? And kind of this attitude around injury and getting back into sport. The initial phase, known as CARE 1.0, focused on the six-month natural history of neurobiology of acute concussion and head impact exposure. And we captured about 5,500 total concussions um, at about five, six um, post-injury time points. Um, so that's a lot of data. Some of that is just clinical data and that's standard symptom evaluations and those types of things that you would see. Um, a subset of athletes completed MRIs and blood draws. Um, we did um, saliva sampling to get RNA and DNA. CARE 2.0 then recorded the results of what four years of head impact exposure with or without concussion looked like in an athlete. Using the data to better diagnose and treat concussion in student athletes is the key. Better diagnostics is what we hope to gain from a project like this. And that translates into treatment options, treatment opportunities, which then translates to better care for our student athletes. Going into the initial study, researchers really only had an understanding of what happened in male collision sport athletes, such as football, ice hockey, and lacrosse. With females making up 40% of care study participants, this multi-phase study has worked to change that. That in and of itself is the largest sample of female athletes um, at the college level that's ever been collected. And that gives us the opportunity to really do a, a deep dive into a group that's largely been neglected in the literature to date. In late 2021, a third round of care funding totaling over $42 million was awarded. This phase of research seeks to advance the knowledge gained in the first two phases by following participant athletes who are 10 plus years after initial exposure to evaluate longer term effects of head impact exposure and TBI. We can build a better helmet to reduce injury risk, um, but trying to, uh, and we can identify somebody that maybe has depression beforehand and try to give them the resources they need to handle that. Um, but we're also talking about maybe trying to change culture within sport or maybe where people grow up when that obviously becomes a bigger and bigger challenge. Um, so it's not going to be just one thing that will prevent concussions or will be used to treat concussions. Um, it's definitely going to be a multifaceted approach. Because of the care consortium, we know a lot more. They have fundamentally advanced the knowledge around concussion. That is essential for a healthcare provider or an administrator to make the best decisions to help keep athletes active and safe. And we've been really fortunate to have great partners with the NCAA and the DOD. Um, through three rounds of funding, we've been able to um, secure about $100 million from, um, over the three phases of the project. Um, that's really resulted in over 100 publications in the medical literature, and clearly there's more coming um, as fast as we can get to the data and analyze it and put it out.